Okay, hello everybody, I've got Sims and everything. How are we all doing today? And uh, Nia, no, I'm not smoking this time, so you have nothing to throw. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do four channeled markings. Now, you're going to open up, obviously, Sim 3 Object Cloner. Clone the marking I've chosen, the really spotty one with three different channels. And this is all you're going to need to edit, the XML. Now you're going to go into right click on the XML, Notepad. And where it says color 4 enabled and it says false you want to hit this and you want to go and click and type in true done so i'm just going to take away where it says splatter and call it spot 3 and then we're going to save as or just save then we're going to quit it and you should see it there now that is your fourth channel activated now Obviously, you've got red, green, blue here, but I have. Don't know, what are you doing? Right. Okay, so I have got to. I swear if this doesn't open. No. Why is. Anyway. So we're going to go into Photoshop and as you can see I've created my uh, four channeled marking which will consist of the brightest yellow you can get, the brightest green, the brightest blue and the brightest red. And we're just literally just going to do this, we're going to make sure you have the DDS. Okay, that's all I'm saying. I'll put a description of a tutorial down below. You should have everything you need, but I'm just showing you how to do four channels. I'm not making a, some fancy ass thing. So we can save, and we're going to find this, and we're going to save it. And yes, I would like to replace that. And when it loads, ta da! So now we have made that. Now we're going to go into our image. And we're going to load and we're just going to do that. Um, what do you think you're doing? Uh, you know what? When things don't go my way, I really do wonder. replace there you go now you have a four channel circle thing which is a marking for a horse the XML should still be on true because that fourth color needs to be enabled in order for you to do it and th I'm just going by memory here this was ages ago now I've already made like my little thumbnails but I'm literally just gonna make these thumbnails bright yellow and we're going to save. We're going to go over that one. Yes. And then make the other one bright yellow. Because you're going to need to do little thumbnails. Save. Over that one. And we're going to do this one. And make that bright yellow. Now what I'm doing is you should all just seriously take a look on the on the um, written tutorial down below of how to make it all because it's done by Pharaoh Hand I think and it's a pretty basic standard thing. Right, um, so we're going to click on replace and we're going to click on that little circle thing there and we're going to replace and we're going to click on that one over there and we're going to click on this one and go replace and then we're going to click on that one over there and you should have bright yellow thumbnails. We're the stupid circle. You know, I could not, I couldn't even do that. <laughs> like, perfect. All the other circle bits. Right. And the key, if it should say. What does it come up as? Where is the unknown? I need to edit the unknown. So. I'd like to edit the unknown. Or can I just edit this part? 
No, I cannot. Right, so we're going to file. We're going to save. I'm just going to do a save as. Because I don't know where the fuck that went. I'm going to put it over my SVHD one. There you go. And now we are going to go... Where did I find that? Okay. We're going over to... Uh, documents. Electronic Arts. Sims 3. Mods. Packages. And then we're going to go over to wherever I left it. Delete. Because I don't need that in my game anymore. And we're going to go desktop. And where did I save that? You know, I have no idea where I saved that. So I'm going to save. Again. I could just kick myself in the nuts. Apparently I now have nuts. <laughs> According to myself. Ah. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to find that. Gonna scroll all the way up. See where my packages folders is. Place that little thing in there. Where are you going? Actually, you check these. Make sure you check these before you close this down. Try again. Okay. And I'm going to launch up The Sims 3. And we're going to see if this has uh, worked nice and pretty for us. Again, basically, all you want to do is you want to notepad edit the xml and where it says false on color 4 change that or channel 4 whatever it's called and change that to true make sure you use a unique name so you can find your uh, thing and yeah and then all you got left to do is just uh i swear <laughs> all you've got left to do is a uh, test it out which is what i'm doing right now Anybody else wants to play the waiting game, go right ahead because I've been doing this for too long now. My sims don't freeze. I've just put in my own creation. <laughs> so this loading time is going to take a long ass time but I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any problems, inquiries and whatnot, let me know. I will upload this along with a picture, a link in the description to the final outcome of this, and into hope that it worked. So, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.